What's up guys? All I ask for you guys to do is if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and push my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. It really means a lot to me. Thanks guys. Good morning everybody. Thank you so much again for tuning in today's video. Today we are getting everything ready for when David comes to plant soybeans. He should be coming today some sometime later this afternoon. So what we got to do is we got to chop the rest of the stalks. I have most of the end rows done. I just have that little patch of um, stalks I didn't get chopped over the last couple days or the last couple of field work videos i haven't been able to get over there and finish but today i'm going to finish that up because i need to and then everything will be completely ready for him to go right into the fields and start planting some beans you can see we're standing in we're standing in pretty tilled dirt so you know we talked about no tilling well this obviously was a lot more than no tilled and there's a reason for that this is about a 17 acre plot and this was supposed to be seed corn so two years ago a seed corn company came to us and they wanted to have a plot of seed corn every year and so we had two patches that were about this big one of them was up at our other place and to get to doing seed corn I had to grow two years of beans to make the rotation work right well this was beans last year and this fields going to beans again and beans on beans don't work very well and so I got up early this morning and the more I thought about it I thought I should probably go ahead and at least field cultivate that because your beans will do better if you till some of the straw up than go and no-till beans on beans. The long story short the seed corn company that we were gonna grow for we only grew one year and then they decided to close the plant down in the town we live by and consolidate their stuff. And so all the plots that they had, they're not doing seed corn anymore. So I messed around measuring this all out and growing corn on corn and beans on beans to get the rotation right. And then I got one year of seed corn, which that doesn't, uh, that doesn't pay your time, time and trouble. But anyway, that's why this the rest of this is all stock ground that is going to beans. But this was beans last year for isolation and now that it's gonna be beans again. So that's why I got up this morning and we put on our, our antique field cultivator um, and I came out and tilled this. But now then we're gonna go back and finish stock, chopping stocks and get our beans planted. Basically, this shuts the cylinders off so that once you unhook from it, it can't settle down. anything in that you're hooking up that's hydraulic there's a way you want it to work in other words what's natural for you like for some people when you throw the lever forward you want the implement to go down and some people when they throw it backwards they want it to go down and depending on which way you've got these in here if you got them swapped one way or the other that determines which way that lever is going to work so on this both of our hydraulic hoses have zip ties on one, one side. So the zip tie goes to the right. So 
That way when I hook it up every time I know as long as I got the zip ties to the right, the levers are the way I want it. Which I'm not going to tell you how many years I did it without that before I got smarter, but I did it a long time. Anyway, I finally know how I'm supposed to do it, so. One set of these folds the wings, and one set drops those tires, which this summer we're going to tear the wheels off of it, and we're going to take the the today junior gauge wheel out of it because we're going to put a set of rolling harrows on it and get rid of the wheels because now that we've got it mounted we don't need it anymore so that's going to be a summer project what's up buddy what's up duke Go chop. go pick up the seed uh, tender that has the beans on it uh, for this field and bring it over here and get set up because we should be doing beans within an hour or two We just picked up the tender, now we're going into our local Pioneer dealer and they're going to fill it up full of our seed for the beans. We get our beans treated, so when you get them in bulk, they run the beans in from the their bin outside because they've got them in bulk. They run them through a process where they can treat them I think they've got about six different six different things on there. We get ours with fungicide, insecticide, and then Olivo. They inject that into the stream of seed as it comes along, and then it goes into that big drum. And when it rolls it around, I mean, it's basically like a cement mixer. It rolls the seeds around, so everything gets coated, and then it runs out. Um, the way they used to do it, it ran right out of that drum straight up into the, into the cart but they had some problems with that because um, they're still a little bit wet and you put it in here and then you bounce down the road and when you get out to the field, they, they would uh, hang up. So now then they run them into a, a separate tank and then from there they convey them up and then into the, into the cart and that works a lot better. So David just showed up and he is starting to plant beans and I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of knowledge on what's different between beans and corn. So with corn, you have to be pretty precise with your spacing, and I've already talked about that in my previous video on why spacing is very important when you're planting corn. Beans, it's not as important because you can kind of spread beans out and they can kind of fluctuate because they flex a lot better. And your row, your spacing of your rows can be, you know, you can plant beans in about any spacing of rows if you want. Also, beans do not yield as much as corn does. The average yield is probably around here where I'm from is anywhere from 60 to 70. If you can get 70 out of your beans, that's pretty, that's pretty good uh, yield for beans. So, and the last thing, that makes uh, soybeans different than corn is soybeans are a lot less expensive. Corn, there's just so many different um, hybrids and varieties that you can plant. And with soybeans, you don't plant that many varieties. We're only planting two varieties of beans. Um, so that's kind of why we're using that seed tender. Oh, and the last thing is you can drive a little bit faster when you're planting beans, just because like I said, the spacing doesn't matter as much as it does when you're planting corn.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill up David another time. He's probably got two more times after this fill up left. I think he'll get done with beans by the end of the night. He's just gonna go hard and get it all done, so. Just got done loading David one last time and he'll just run until he's done because he's on the last field right now and then he it should be another hour or two and then he'll be completely done and we'll be all done with plant 2020 and everything will be in the ground this has probably been the fastest plant we've had in a long long time because last year you farmers know the rain just came and came and came and came and it wouldn't stop for like five weeks so we started planting and then the rain came and we couldn't plant for another five weeks but this year we've literally got right into the fields and it's been we've had three days of just planting and it's gone really fast i couldn't be happier my dad couldn't be happier and david couldn't be happier with the conditions and how everything has gone so far no breakdowns no nothing so if you guys like the video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out pushes my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it if you guys like me and what this farm is about feel free to subscribe so you never miss a video and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time i post a video i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one peace